Hello, I'm Patricia Henderson with Senior Connection Center, and this is your weekly connection. What do forests, ferris wheels, and farming have in common? They are all under the purview of the Florida Department of Agriculture and Consumer Services. In addition, the department regulates charities and provides many additional services through its Division of Consumer Services. Here to tell us more about the Division of Consumer Services is Lenora Spence, Consumer Advocate with the Division of Consumer Services, Florida Department of Agriculture and Consumer Services. Lenora, thank you for being here today. Thank you so much, Patricia, for inviting me. I'm so glad to come on and talk to all of your viewers about uh, what we do at the Division of Consumer Services. Lenora, the and consumer services part of the department's name is often overlooked or not known at all. Please tell us more about the Division of Consumer Services. Absolutely, and you're, you're so right. Um, oftentimes when I talk to people and I do presentations, I ask them, you know, what does the Division of Consumer Services do? Uh, like, so that, that extra part, and people are like, I don't know. <laughs> um, so what we do, and you kind of mentioned it before, we are a regulatory agency. So there are tons of businesses throughout the state of Florida that we regulate, motor vehicle repair shops, pawn shops, um, telemarketers, uh, fair rides, which is super, super fascinating. There's, there's tons that we regulate, um, charities as well, as you mentioned. And what we do, what that regulation means is that we are kind of, um, we make sure that they are doing everything they can do to make sure that, you know, no one, they're not wasting anyone's money. They're not scamming people, things like that of that nature. Um, and so what we do is we hold their licenses and everything, for example, with charities, every single charity in the state of Florida um, must register with our department. And we have a very cool tool on our website, which is called Check a Charity. And with that tool, we compile all the data that we receive from the charities, their financials and things like that. And so that people can really get a snapshot and see how much money they're spending on program services, um, the date of their, you know, that they receive their license, when it expires, and things of that nature. Um, that's all available on our website. So, you know, if someone has trouble, for example, with a motor vehicle repair shop, you know, you go to a shop and let's say they try to upsell you on all of these different services for your car that you don't need, um, or they overcharge you, um, and maybe you find that out by getting a quote from someone else. Well, you would call of our agency, and we have mediators that actually work with consumers to help them possibly get back a refund, to, to help them try to understand the process a little bit more and talk with the motor vehicle repair shop and make sure that they're doing, you know, what they're supposed to do to protect, protect consumers and their customers as well, um, to make sure they're not trying to rip people off. So things like that, uh, we regulate also travel agencies and um, like your local gyms, like your, your um, health studios and gyms of that nature. Mm -hmm. and, and we're just here to just help make sure that everyone is, um, <laughs> I don't want to say gets to keep their money, <laughs> you know what I mean? That they're not being ripped off basically um, by these businesses, the unfair business practices. Mm -hmm. um, we're, we want to make sure that the businesses are, are treating people fairly and not just trying to just take things from them unfairly. As you mentioned, in Florida, uh, charities are regulated by the Department of Agriculture and Consumer Services. Can you review again how someone can look up a charity to determine if they want to make a donation? Absolutely. So um, there's a couple ways you can call our office and uh, we have a call center full of wonderful people that work business hours, Monday through Friday. And if you have a question about a charity, they, you can call that number, which is 1-800-HELP-FLA. And they will help direct you to the right place. They will give you information about the charity. Or you can go directly to our website, which is floridaconsumerhelp.com. And on that website, you'll see a tab that says charities. And once you click on that tab, it'll bring you to another page. And on that page, there are two boxes. One says business name, another one says license and registration number. Uh, but really all you have to do is enter in, you know, if you only know a part of the business name and you don't know the registration number, which most people don't, that's totally fine. Mm -hmm. um, you can just enter in a part of the name and it'll bring up a list of different charities that has, you know, anything with that name in it. 
and you can look up the information there. And then if there's something there that you still don't see and you want more information of, give us a call back and we will get you in contact with our department that handles charities and provide you with as much information as we can. And we will have that phone number and website at the end of the video for you. What are some of the scams or frauds you are seeing now? Um, well, you know, some of the scams and frauds go through a cycle, like they come back every year. Mm -hmm. um, but right now, I think we're seeing, you know, a lot of the COVID scams, a lot of people telling people that they have to pay for the vaccine and things of that nature. Um, that's still happening a lot. There's a lot of scams involving like unemployment mm -hmm. and, you know, people trying to get someone else's unemployment checks and things of that nature. There's also the scams, like I said, that come back every year. You have like a, the grandparent scam when you talk about seniors, where people are calling these seniors and telling them that they're their grandchild or niece or nephew or whomever, and you know they need some help, financial help, because you know maybe they're in jail in Texas or something like that, mm -hmm. um, and you know they need their help to bail them out. They don't want them to tell any family members, things of that nature. Um, the IRS scam is still <laughs> out there. And one thing that the IRS says, and we always tell people they will not make phone calls. The IRS will send you certified letters in the mail, but they will not just make house calls and, and ask people for money in the form of a gift card per se. Um, and I mean, those are really the ones that we see the most. And like I said, it, it, and what's crazy is we're getting into the holiday season and one of the scams that always comes up holiday season is gift card scams. Right. Mm -hmm. and, and people, you know, they go to the stores and they may take the number off the gift card and, you know, you wouldn't know because they replaced the little strip or something. Um, and, you know, once they realize that it's been loaded with money, then they use it before the person that's <laughs> gifted the gift card can. Mm -hmm. So just to be mindful of that. Lenore, what about skimmers? So um, another regulated program that we have is through the gas pumps. So we have inspectors that are going out every single day to every, not to every single gas station, every single day, but they're going to the gas stations every day to number one, check for fuel quality to make sure that the gasoline that all of us are using is safe to put in our cars. And they're also looking inside the pumps for skimmers. Skimmers we're finding every day, unfortunately. Um, these criminals are getting better and better at disguising them and hiding them in places that are just, are just not in plain sight. People often ask me, well, how do I know if there's a skimmer on the pump? And you generally won't because it's placed inside the pump, um, you know, after hours, at night, at dark, you know, things like that, and you and I wouldn't know otherwise. And so what people can do to protect themselves is, number one, um, use other forms of payment. You can go inside and pay cash. Um, you can go inside and pay with your debit or credit card. If you choose to pay outside, you can use a credit card as opposed to a debit card. Mm -hmm. um, reason being is because credit cards generally have a lot more protection. Mm -hmm. um, and then also with your debit card, I mean, that's all of your personal money. And, from, right. you know, and, and we don't want people getting access to that per se. So that's one way you can protect yourself. Also using maybe a gift card. Mm -hmm. um, so for example, I know with um, Walmart, you can use a Walmart gift card at the Walmart gas station. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, it's none of your personal information on there. It's literally just the money that you've loaded on that mm -hmm. gift card. And that's an option. Some of the gas stations allow you to pay with your phone now. And there's an extra layer of protection using your phone. Um, reason being is because how the skimmers work is when you put your card, you when you swipe it in and you pull it out, everything on that magnetic strip is sent over to, you know, whomever waiting in their car somewhere nearby with their Bluetooth device and it's um, all of your information is sent to them. And generally what they will do is they will do a small charge, maybe like, you know, at McDonald's or something, um, a couple of dollars. And they do that to make sure that the card is active. Mm -hmm. And once they figure out the card is active, the next thing you know, you, you know, bought ski equipment in Colorado or something, mm -hmm. um, or, you know, bought tons of things on Amazon. So, 
Um, if you're traveling, I like to tell people, you know, let's say you're traveling, driving to Texas to visit family. Get a credit card with a very small balance on it and only use it at the gas pumps. So that way, if anything is compromised, you can pinpoint the last place you used it. And also it's not any of your extra money that you were going to use on your vacation or something like that. So there are, there are other ways you can protect yourself um, and just be mindful <laughs> um, and, and aware at all times. Try to use the pumps that are kind of in the middle and where you can see the clerk inside because generally we find the skimmers on the pumps that are kind of on the mm -hmm. outside in the back where people can't see them um, installing the skimmers. So it's, it's a tough situation, um, but there are ways, you know, that you can try to protect yourself, but just know that, you know, also checking your accounts all the time because it may happen, honestly. Mm -hmm. um, there's no, nothing that's 100% foolproof and it may absolutely happen. So just try your best to protect yourself. What are some additional tips you have for older adults or really anyone um, to use to avoid scams and frauds? Um, you know, it, it's one of those things where none of us are exempt. Mm -hmm. Young, old, you know, um, we can all be scammed at any time. The really the best thing that any of us can do is to just make sure that we are checking our bank accounts on a regular basis, um, checking your credit card accounts on a regular basis, checking your credit, um, getting those credit reports to make sure, you know, that someone didn't use your information to purchase a car <laughs> or a motorcycle or a boat or what have you, things of that nature. If, if you get a call, you know, say from a charity that you're unfamiliar with and, and maybe you want to give money to them, but you're not sure, check them out. Mm -hmm. call us, go to our website, um, ask a friend or family member, are you familiar with this charity? Have you heard of this charity? Um, you know, and, and find out the best way to give because it may not be through the, maybe you receive something through the mail. Maybe there's another way that you can give that's a little bit where you feel a little safer mm -hmm. as opposed to you just sending a check back or something like that. So just always just being as aware as possible and if anything sounds too good to be true, <laughs> of the old saying, it generally is. Mm -hmm. And when that is the case, just really just before you decide to give your money, pay for a service or pay for a, a, a gift that someone wants to give you because they called you on the phone or, or whatever it is, just check it out. Ask someone else, verify it, get another opinion and give yourself time to decide. A lot of these scammers, they want you to purchase whatever it is or help them out with whatever it is immediately right away. Mm -hmm. There's no time to delay, things like that. So give yourself time to decide with, um, you know, even if you go to the store, I mean, you can go to the store and look at something and decide later, come back in and decide if you want to buy it. So just take your time, be as aware as possible. And that's really all we can do. Such good information and advice. Be aware take time to make a decision about a charity or a purchase. Check out the Department of Agriculture and Consumer Services website. You can find information about charities and other good tips and information there. Lenora, thank you for being here today. Thank you so much, Patricia. I hope that I was able to provide some helpful tips and information and people can contact us at any time, um, as I mentioned before, we do have a call center, and that phone number is 1-800-HELP-FLA, F-L-A, and if you have any questions about any business in the state of Florida, any scam, any fraud, anything, please give us a call. We're also available online, floridaconsumerhelp.com. Um, check out our website. It is full of so much good information. Um, about just consumer protection in, in general from, from every avenue and everything that we cover. So I encourage you to go to our website, check it out and give us a call if you have any questions. And we will have that phone number and those websites at the end of the video. I'm Patricia Henderson, and this is your Weekly Connection.